Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about the structural features, properties and uses of commercial polymers. Okay, so in this video, we will be mainly studying about polyethylene. In the later videos, we will be studying about polypropylene, polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, polyesters, polyamides, okay, all these are the commercial polymers and we will be studying about their structural feature as well as we will be studying about property and uses, okay. In this class, we will be studying what? About polyethylene, okay. So, we know that uh, polyethylene is uh, having the formula, the CH2, CH2, This is the formula of polyethylene CH2 single bond CH2 whole bracket N. Okay. Now we know that in order to get polyethylene the starting material or the monomer. Okay. The monomer is a uh, ethylene right that is CH2 double bond CH2. Okay. This is the ethylene whenever you take it in N number and make it to undergo polymerization you will end up with CH2 single bond CH2. That is, it is your polyethylene. Okay, monomer is what? Ethylene. Okay, now how we can get the ethylene? That is the starting material or the monomer, right? So, ethylene is what? Our starting material. This can be obtained by three methods. Okay, one is by acetylene. Okay, one is by acetylene, hydrogenation of acetylene. Okay, how you have hydro, uh, acetylene, okay, this is your acetylene, okay. And whenever you make it undergo hydrogenation, you will get CH2 double bond CH2. That is your starting material for the polyethylene. Okay, that is the first one. The second one is by the, by dehydration by dehydration of ethanol okay the dehydration of ethanol that is if you have ethanol ch3 ch2 oh okay this is your ethanol so what happens is that there will be an elimination of water okay that is what dehydration means okay how let me write uh, here ch2 i write ch3 as ch2 and h okay and ch2 oh Okay, so what happened? This water molecule is there, no? That will eliminate and so that you will get CH2 double bond CH2. Okay, this is the second method to get your starting material. And the third method is by the petroleum product. Okay, you can also get it by what? Petroleum product by the process called by the process called cracking okay by the process called cracking okay so these are the three methods in order to get your starting material for a polyethylene that is ethylene okay now this ethylene okay then that is ch2 double bond ch2 this is what ethylene this is a it uh, is a gas okay at room temperature okay at room temperature or uh, um, at the normal temperature this is in the gaseous state okay it has a boiling point okay boiling point of this ethylene is uh, negative 104 degrees celsius okay negative 104 degrees celsius okay now there are two types okay there are two types of polyethylene okay there are two types of polyethylene one is ldpe the second one is HDPE. Okay, LDPE means what? Low density, low density polyethylene. While HDPE means what? High density polyethylene. Okay, these are the two varieties that we have under the polyethylene. Okay, now I make two column. One is for LDPE. LDPE and another one is for what HDPE okay now whenever you, when you get LDPE okay when the low density polyethylene is obtained remember whenever you polymerize the ethylene that is CH2 double bond CH2 okay whenever you polymerize this CH2 at very high pressure okay at high pressure 
okay the pressure is uh, 1.5 into 10 power 8 pascal okay 10 power 8 pascal okay whenever you make the uh, poly ethylene to undergo polymerization at very high pressure of this 1.5 into 10 power 8 pascal and at the temperature okay high temperature is required here 180 to 250 degree celsius is required and whatever the polyethylene you get now that is called as ldpe Okay, what is uh, how when you get LDPE, whenever you make the CH2 double bond CH2, that is ethylene uh, to undergo polymerization at very high pressure and very high pressure uh, temperature, we will get LDPE. Okay, so in the LDPE structure, okay, the structure of this uh, low density polyethylene consists of branched, okay, bra or branches, okay, the structure of LDPE consist of branches while the structure of hdp is uh, essentially a linear okay linear structure okay while here you have the branches here you have the linear structure that is the main structural difference between what ldpe and hdpe okay and also the polymerization is carried at lower pressure as well as lower temperature in this case well now in the case of LDPE, you need to use the initiator. Okay, initiator is necessary uh, in order to carry out the reaction to get your LDPE, usually the oxygen. Okay, oxygen is used as the initiator. Other than oxygen, you can also use the peroxides. Okay, peroxides, hydroperoxides and azo compounds. Okay, as a compost can be used as what initiator while here no need of using initiator here initiator is required okay we are mainly using oxygen other than these three can be used as the initiator okay anyway the concentration of initiator that you are taking is very less okay like 0.1 percent is sufficient um, means 0.1 percent of uh, oxygen is sufficient to carry out the reaction okay now, in the case of the LDPE, the ethylene, ethylene can be polymerized, polymerized by either bulk or the solution polymerization technique. Okay, solution polymerization technique. We already seen, right? What is bulk polymerization technique? what is solution polymerization technique it is already done in my channel if you haven't watched it please do watch okay you will get to know what is bulk polymerization technique what is solution polymerization technique okay now here in case of ldpe we are making ethylene to undergo polymerization by means of either bulk polymerization technique or the solution polymerization technique okay while in this case hdpe we are making the ethylene to undergo polymerization mainly by the coordination, okay? Coordination polymerization technique. Once again, this video is also done. That is uh, coordination polymerization uh, and Ziegler Nata Catalyst. It is already done in my channel. You can watch it, okay? To know more about what is this coordination and what is that Ziegler Nata and all, okay? So here, coordination polymerization technique is used using what? Which catalyst? Ziegler Nata catalyst, right? So Ziegler Nata catalyst is used in the coordination polymerization in order to get your what? HDPE, okay? So both the videos are done, okay? Please do watch. Okay. Now. Let me change the page. Now, this LDP is there, no? LDP, that is low density polyethylene. Um, it melt, okay, in the melting point or melts at 110 to 125 degree Celsius. Okay, LDP melts at what temperature? 110 degree to 125 degree. Okay, while the melting point of this HDP, okay, this here you have HDP. HDP melting point is 144 to 150. Okay, so you can see the temperature at which HDP melt is very higher, right? So thermally more stable, HDP um, is more thermally stable than this. Okay, that point you can make out, correct? By the melting points. Okay, 
Now it is found that LDPE is a 40% crystalline in nature. Okay, it is 40% crystalline while well, rest is amorphous. While well, here HDPE is 90% crystalline. Okay, because of this reason, okay, it is 90% crystalline, no, this is usually hard in nature, okay, hard as well as it is brittle, okay, stiffer, more stiffer, okay, because it is 90% crystalline, no, that is why it is hard, it is brittle and stiffer when you compare to the LDP, okay, we, you can uh, make or uh, note that here this one may be um, softer, okay, it is not that hard when you compare to HDPE, okay, it is not brittle, it is not stiffer, correct? Because it is having only 40% crystallinity, correct? Well, now, it is found that none of the solvent, okay, none of solvent can dissolve, can dissolve, dissolve LDPE, okay? There is no solvent can dissolve LDP at the room temperature. Okay, that point you need to remember. At the room temperature, none of these solvents, okay, whatever the solvent you take at the room temperature, the LDP cannot be dissolved in it. Okay, but at high temperature, at high temperature, HT means what? High temperature, okay. At high temperature, some of the solvent can dissolve it. Okay, uh, some of the solvent like what? Uh, it can be carbon tetrachloride or it can be xylene or it can be toluene, okay, etc. Or decaline, trichloroethylene, correct? All these are the solvent that can dissolve LDP only at high temperature. But you need to, uh, you know, make sure that it is not dissolving at room temperature, okay. None of the solvent can dissolve it at room temperature. But some can dissolve only at high temperature, okay. Uh, for example, if you take this is uh, toluene, okay, hot solution, uh, hot uh, solvent, okay. Toluene is uh, heated to some uh, certain temperature. Now, if you add the LDP, and if you stir it, there is a possibility that this LDP can dissolve in a toluene if the temperature is sufficiently higher. But if the solution, the temperature of the solution is cooled down, okay? If the solution of the, uh, if the temperature of this solution is cooled down, then what happens is that LDP that is dissolved in this uh, solvent, no, that will start precipitating at the bottom. Okay, that's the thing. It can dissolve only at the high temperature. Once again, if the temperature lower to the room temperature, what happens? It get precipitated. Okay. Well, the next point. I already said that LDP is having what? Branched structure, right? Branched structure. While that is having what? Uh, HDP is having linear structure, correct? So, this branched structure of LDPE is mainly resulting because of two things. That is, intermolecular chain transfer, chain transfer reaction, okay, or intramolecular chain transfer reaction, okay, intramolecular and intermolecular chain transfer reaction, okay, because of these two reasons, the LDP is having branched structure, okay, we will see uh, how, okay, we will take uh, example for this, if you have this CH2, okay, this is a growing polymer chain, plus if you have some polymer chain, okay, CH2, CH2, R, Okay, if you have, this is the one polymer chain, this is a growing polymer chain, okay, both are polyethylene only, but it is growing, it is terminated, okay, some uh, polyethylene chain. Now, what happens that, uh, let me write CH2 as a CH and H, okay, I can write here, here, anywhere, okay, and uh, to explain this, I am taking this, uh, okay, carbon, considering this carbon, I am writing CH2 as how, CH and H. Now, what happens is that this bond is there, no, between this C, H, C and H, that will cleave homolytically. So, that H is getting free radical, carbon is getting free radical. This H free radical combined with this CH2 free radical to generate this CH2, CH3, okay. Plus, CH2, CH and this carbon is now having what? Free radical, CH2 and R, okay. Now, you can see that free radical is generated, um, 
in between carbon means it is not present at the end carbon if there is a presence of free radical at the end carbon you uh, cannot get the branched structure okay it, it should present somewhere in between then only you will end up with the branched structure okay so this is uh, intra sorry intermolecular okay inter okay between the two molecule right so it is inter molecular chain transfer reaction now what is intra molecular okay we am taking an example for what intra molecular now ch2 ch2 okay this is a growing polymer chain okay let me consider this carbon okay i am writing ch2 as like this now once again this will cleave homolytically as free radical combine here okay with the ch2 free radical and so that carbon now will be having the free radical means you will be having a free radical somewhere in uh, in the middle of the chain okay and now what happen the next uh, growing polymer chain can uh, attack here so that branches may develop right so uh, this will be seen in ldpe okay branch structure is seen in ldpe that is mainly arising because of what intermolecular and intramolecular chain transfer reaction okay and the density the next point under ldp is what density okay the density of this ldp is 0.91 to 0.92 gram per cc okay 0.91 to 0.92 gram per cc while for hdp the density is 0.965 gram per cc once again you can make, uh, make that it is having more dense okay it is more denser than this okay high density polyethylene that is why it is called as high density okay because it is more denser than ldp okay well now we will uh, look into the application or usage of uh, ldp and this one hdp okay uses as i already said that this is uh, not that stiffer it is little bit softer correct that is why it is uh, mainly used as a wrapping okay it is mainly used for wrapping or packing packing what foods okay food materials even textile materials okay our textile products okay and even frozen foods like chicken meat and all uh, you might have seen in uh, bazaars and all it is uh, uh, covered with uh, some uh, plastic right if plastic wrapping will be there that wrapping is made up of ldpe okay and uh, the next use of this ldpe is that it is uh, uh, flexible right it is more softer it is flexible that is the reason why it is used in squeezing bottles okay it is made use in squeezing uh, bottles squeezing bottle means for example in ketchup and all it it can be squeezed right it can be pressed in uh, between in the middle so that uh, the ketchup will uh, uh, can be applied easily on your bread and all right so it is uh, flexible that is why it is used in uh, squeezing bottle okay and uh, uh, it can be used to make uh, uh even pipes okay it is used in making pipes for agricultural purpose industrial purpose okay while this one hdp hdp is more harder it is more stiffer correct that is why it is used in making utensil okay plastic utensil plastic um, utensils okay like uh, uh, plastic uh, plates and spoons right so uh, th they will be little harder means if you uh, you know or if they fall down to the ground they will break into pieces means they are stiffer they are uh, brittle in nature okay they are not uh, so flexible as uh, your uh, ldpe okay and it is also used in making toys okay mainly in the car okay toy cars uh, in that it is used okay so these are the applications of ldpe and hdp okay so uh, this is uh, all about uh, our uh, today's video that is polyethylene we covered all the aspects like we uh, talked about structural features properties and also we covered the uses correct so if you have any doubt in the polyethylene um, please do ask in the comment section and in the next video we will uh, talk about polypropylene polystyrenes pvc polyesters polyamides right there are many polymers we will talk about their structures property uses everything okay okay Uh, this is all about uh, today's video if you have any doubt please let me know thank you for watching